Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the President of Tunisia Mohammed Al Nasser, in which His Majesty the King expressed sincere condolences to the Tunisian President and people on the sad demise of former Tunisian President El Baji Qaid Sibsi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences yesterday to the Tunisian President Mohammed Al Nasser over the sad demise of former President. Beji Qaid Sibsi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended deepest condolences and sympathy to the Tunisian President, people, and the deceased's family, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the former President's soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent similar cables to the Tunisian counterpart Prime Minister Youssef Shahid. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Tunisian President Mohammed Al Nasser on the sad demise of former President Baji Qaid Al Sibsi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended deepest condolences and sympathy to President Al Nasser, the brotherly Tunisian people and the deceased family praying to Allah the Almighty to lay the former President's soul in eternal peace. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the 24th edition of Brave, which was organized by the Brave organization and held in Copper Box Arena in London. On this occasion, His Highness expressed gratitude for organizing the 24th edition of the championship in London, which received the attention of official authorities and reflected on the success of the tournament, adding to the series of successes that this event achieved in mixed martial arts sport. His Highness praised the historical relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, spanning over 200 years, which is the result of both countries' continuous efforts to develop them in various fields. His Highness noted that hosting the Brave Championship in London has added additional strength to the event, supporting its global reach, given Britain's strategic position internationally. His Highness said London is one of the main destinations that attracts people and athletes interested in the mixed martial arts sport, contributing to the goals of increasing the popularity of the tournament to become the number one championship in the world. His Highness praised the high combat level of the players, which greatly reflected the serious preparations for their participation in the competition, adding to the atmosphere of enthusiasm, friendliness, and excitement. His Highness lauded the media coverage and the efforts exerted by the brave organization headed by Mohammed Shahid in preparation for the event, which was reflected in the overall outcome of the championship. His Highness crowned the American player Pupa Genghis with the featherweight title for defeating Brazilian Lucas Martinez in the first round of the main draw, where he was able to maintain his title in this championship. Fans here to try and get the reaction. Oh, 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 the oh, with the overhead! Oh, Make it official. Knockout! Cameron! Can one question only? God bless. Oh, oh flying oh, the jacket! On the right hand! here Aiden James he's trying to dampen the talk of unbelievable 
We've had celebrities, we've had government officials from around the world, we have had singers and movie stars, all of them in one roof, under one roof in London. This is something that London has never seen before. What His Highness said was true, we're going to change mixed martial arts landscape at a global level and this event is something that Europe has never seen. This is not only good for Brave Combat Federation, this, is, uh, this event is going to benefit the whole of mixed martial arts and His Highness Sheikh Khalid has put this event in a platform that uh, mixed martial arts will never be looked at as the same ever again. It will be different 100%. So we're super happy to have this event. Great. And the other day, great fights too. You had, uh, you had several knockouts. So it's unbelievable to see all the crowd and everybody enjoying this. The first invite only event and it was an absolute success. I'm so proud uh, to be a part of the organization. KHK has come through and he's shown me his vision and I'm just supportive. I'm behind Brave all the way and Brave's behind me. So it makes for a matrimony. The families of Asakar Hatim Al Amiri, Budawas, Muhammad uh, Sultan, Abdullah Blal, Al Ghanim Kiladari, Al Saati have voiced their strong condemnation and rejection of the Qadiri regime's blatant interference in the kingdom's domestic affairs and the fallacies and fabrication aired by Al Jazeera satellite TV channel for the sake of subverting Bahrain's security. The families pledged unwavering allegiance to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paying tribute to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support.